Hi guys, so welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmo. So in this episode here, I have this product from Fortune Chip Tuning. Now this is a product that, you know, uh, you can put this in pretty much any standard vehicle and it claims that you can get better fuel efficiency. Uh, you can also notice a gain, a gain in horsepower through, you know, faster throttle response, faster acceleration. Anyway, so they, came in, they come in three stages. Uh, stage one, two, and three, and um, if you check their website, you can see the different horsepower gains that they claim that this has. This is the stage three one that I have, and I bought this from a BMW. Um, so when you check out their website, anyway, you can see you know you have to put in your your vehicle uh, information, you know the vehicle model and, and year, and it tells you you know gives you the specific uh, chip for your car. But what I have here, in addition to that chip, and of course, I will show you that chip in a second. Um, there's also this other kit that comes with it. And what you can do, you can actually track your diagnostics, right, in real time with this add-on kit. So here it comes with some... Some stickers talking about your contact information uh, there are some stickers here oh some installation uh, uh, simple installation right on how to install it and you also get a nice little sticker Thornton chip tuning so here's the add-on module nicely packaged there's even a QR code that you can scan uh, on this Thornton diagnostic kit and that's what I have here and you buy this in addition to the actual chip itself So out of the box this is the actual Thornton diagnostic tool kit now there are two flavors of this I believe uh, this is the Bluetooth version I have um, Right, but there's uh, another version as well. I think it's Wi-Fi, but I want to do the Bluetooth version because I'm going to connect this to my uh, Bluetooth flat screen in my car so I can track usage, uh, track my parameters, I guess you can call it. Now with this kit, that's very important. We also have the splitter cable. Now the reason you want the splitter cable for your OBD2 connection in your car is I do have the chip itself. So this obviously is the female, the male end that will connect into my OBD2 or onboard diagnostics as they call it uh, port in my car and then here are my two female ends one end I'm going to connect into that my Thornton chip right my stage 3 Thornton chip and then the other port which is this one here I'm going to connect my Thornton diagnostic tool and then through this via a Bluetooth connection I can then track and see all of the um, parameters in real time uh, for my onboard uh, diagnostics right on my computer now I do have, this is the Bluetooth 4.0 uh, dual version. There's also a Bluetooth 3.0 version and there's also a Wi-Fi version. This works with, um, this does work with um, Android and iOS devices. So that's good, All right? So, and of course, you know, you definitely need to get this whole kit because you need this, this splitter cable, right? That way you can actually um, experience the fuel efficiency and the gains, power gains, as they say, of this uh, Thornton chip while at the same time being able to uh, watch and see uh, all of the uh, key parameter settings on my uh, computer, car's computer, in real time. So here it is in the box itself. And you even have some marketing on the side here. So the marketing says it has an in ingenious design, it's inexpensive, it's easy to use, faster speed, ARM processor and compact reliable light and it's safe and it has a one-year warranty and it's in this cool little case here so this is what it looks like that's it this is what it looks like right here all right Thornton OBD2 diagnostic interface so just a quick recap so this is the splitter and this is the OBD2 Diagnostic interface that we just looked at. This is a close-up of it 
And this, this is the actual chip itself, the Thornton tuning chip. There's some you know, LEDs along the top, and as you can see, ECU, OBD, and power. And there's a reset button right in the middle to reset, right? And there's a reset button right in the middle to reset. And at the top, you can see there are three LEDs, one for ECU, one for OBD, one for power. And this also plugs into the OBD too. So obviously, if I need to plug the both of these in at the same time, you need a splitter. Now, the way this works, and this is in layman's terms, this actually takes a while to learn your engine's, I guess, default performance. So when you plug this setup in, you drive for a bit. I think it's like 100, 150 or so kilometers. Um, don't quote me on that, but roughly about that. And then once it's gathered all that data, it would then create a benchmark. Okay, this is like the default. And then what it does, it then will optimize and make some changes to your parameters such that you do notice uh, an improvement in your fuel efficiency as well as noticeable gains in throttle, like noticeable improvements, I should say, in throttle response as well as horsepower. Now, there are three stages, as I said before. This one is the stage three, where which is the maximum, the highest one where you're claiming you can get up to 60 additional horsepower, etc. And this one um, is designed specifically for my BMW. So when you go onto their website, you can put your, your car model in and year, I believe, and it will, you know, send you when you when you, when you make the purchase, and these are pretty cheap. Uh, it will send you these in the mail. So anyway, that's all the hardware. Again, the setup is pretty easy. Plug this into your OBD2 port in your car, and these two plug into these two, and then we go from there. Now, um, that being said, let's continue the installation. So guys, here's my OBD2, see, OBD, that's the cover for it, actually comes like that covered, so I'm just going to take the cover off, here is the port here, the female end, and all modern cars will have one of these, so I'm going to do, this is the splitter that we looked at earlier, I'm going to plug this end into here. in there nicely smug or snug I should say so what I'm going to do next is plug in the chip the Thornton stationary chip into any one of these so make sure the pins are all straight that's good lined up properly and I'm going to yeah they're all lined up nicely put it in this port here that's in all the way As you can see, although I don't have the I don't have the ignition on the BMWs, but this port is actually already active, so you can see the LEDs flashing already. The power light is on, the OBD LED is flashing, and the ECU light is flashing. So that means this is getting power. And then in the other the other one I'm going to connect is the diagnostic interface. So all the pins are nice and straight here. I'll plug that in. And this one also lighting up. Red light is there. So we're good. So here is the both plugged in and they live up like Christmas trees. So I want to keep my OBD, I want to keep my diagnostic on all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to some double-sided tape for this video I'm gonna do, I will do a clean it install later but I'm gonna for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna install them right here on the side with some double-sided tape like that um, bring the cable in a bit more because I don't want my foot to hit when I get in and out of the car so push it in a bit more and have it here like that and um, 
we'll go from there. So we're installed. We're good to go. Next, what you're going to need to do is install uh, the application. Now, this works again, the uh, diagnostic tool works with iOS and Android devices. So, in this demo, I am on a Samsung Android device. Anyway, you go to their website, and then here is the download and install instructions. So, there are a couple of different apps that you can use. They actually recommend the OBD Auto Doctor, but there's some other options as well. Uh, so obviously in addition to the OBD Auto Doctor, which is an excellent free app, there's an optional upgrade to the Pro and, and you can upgrade within the app for a fee. Uh, there's something called Torque Light. This one is very popular. There's a light version that is also free. And then there's OBD Fusion. This is a, a paid third party app. And then, so there's another app that I found in addition to those uh, that are recommended by uh, point and chip tuning and it's called Dash Command. So this is a really cool app, especially if you want to have this running while you're driving. Uh, you can see a lot of different um, specs um, or a lot of different you know, parameters uh, and their values in real time. Um, so this is it right here called Dash Command. So I'm going to install this right now. So here's the Dash Command app at the bottom. Now before we run the Dash um, Command app, what I'm going to do is connect make a connection by my Bluetooth here on my device to the onboard uh, Thornton diagnostic system that we just installed. iOS V-Link and Android V-Link. So let's click on Android V-Link. Now the default is usually four zeros or one, two, three, four. Let's go one, two, three, four and clear. Now we are successfully paired. Or so next we go to the dash command app. Run that. Agree. We're gonna connect. Uh, we're gonna select ELM. That's the hardware interface. Because if you look closely, it says OBD link in small, small font there. That's the one we want. ELM. So click on ELM. Go next. We go to OBD2 data port. We connect. Select the Bluetooth device and we're going to connect to Android V Link and then that's it. We go back, we go back. So, this is an evaluation mode. We have 30 minutes left. So, this is just an evaluation mode. Got it. So, let's go back. Let's connect. And as you can see here, we're connected gauges click on gauges here and then what else do we have we have dashboards so this is a nice one let me just start so I'm gonna have to set I'm gonna have this set up on my main monitor here right above here but right now just for this video I'm showing you the app I'm just gonna start my engine and see what happens on this one So you can see the RPMs on this side here. I'm going to rev now. So you can see it pretty much is in real time. There's like a millisecond delay, right? But all the data is right there, right? But it works really well as you can see so we just turn the power off so guys that was just uh an overview of the thornton uh performance chip as well as the diagnostic chip that we've installed it'll show you how to install it how to download and set up the application what i will do in part two i'm actually going to test this out for a while and in my second video i will show you how well it works um and show the interface when i have it set up on my large 10 inch monitor here uh, on my car so guys i hope you enjoyed that video uh, there will be links below where you can get this uh, this hardware, this cool hardware, as well as links to the website where you can get the applications as well. So for that, guys, stay safe. 
happy driving, happy gaming, and yeah, again, stay safe. All right, till next time, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you like this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I appreciate it that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.